Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. I hope you're having a great day and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're going to be trying out Vagar versus Lissandra. I think this should be pretty fun as long as we can ramp up fast enough. Now for our star powers, we have round star to create a darkness in hand at cost zero. Now these darkness, they're not fleeting or anything like that, so we can just stack them up in hand. You can see that right here. This is what the entire deck is built around, is buffing up this spell. Then we have all powerful plus one starting mana your darkness accelerates to burst very nice normally you can see there's a slow spell but with them being burst we can just like chain fire these off really good we can answer a lot of the enemy effects with these darkness now for the relic setups we're going with the scourge's stash we could replace this with packed powder but this is fine i like trying to get some cost reduction for our vagar chemtech duplicator so when you play a spell if you have six or more mana gems copy with the same targets this is quite nice. Normally our games are hitting that six mana. And so this is gonna copy our darkness spells. It can really help us end the game. Then Luden's Tempest, just increasing all of our spells and skills by one. Now this is a pretty simple and straightforward Vagar build. Honestly, probably can come up with something a little bit better, but I like everything it does. You can get Vagar on the board a little bit earlier. He can start ramping up your darkness spells. Chemtech Duplicator, really nice for then finishing off the game. And the Ludens Tempest helping you level up and just increase all of your damage from your darkness. Now, if you appreciate all the daily Path of Champions content, definitely like and subscribe and let's get into it. All right, support champion. Heimerdinger is interesting. Thermo Beam is solid. Wouldn't mind getting something here with a little bit of removal, though. Like more <laughs> removal or not removal as much as control. We don't really get any control here. Let's try a reroll. Uh, Tom Kench, not really going to help us. Again, a bit more removal, but not actually any control. Uh, Tom Kench with the Reckoner's Mark will probably just end up dying. We could play the Fort Fortune Croaker for free most times. I think we'll just go for the Zonite Urchin. A little sad. I was hoping for like a more Yasuo or Ash. Just... <laughs> Anything with a solid amount of control, but don't want to burn all of our rerolls here. The extra control would just help us last longer. So out of the gates, game start summon a two cost unit from your deck. That's not bad because our two cost unit, a uh, high chance to be this one right here, which is really good. Can strike, get some more darkness. The dark bulb is okay. So that one's not bad. When you summon a one cost ally granted 2-2. Two, two. We do have some one costs. And Nature's Revenge is okay. I think we'll go for Out of the Gates. Again, would great to get something like Hold It, where round start we stun the strongest enemy, but don't want to burn all of our rerolls. Alright, we high rolled the gold. Let's see what we can get here. I don't really want to discard our hand. Mirror Mage actually can be good because it will copy all of our darkness spells, but it being an 8 cost is not good. When I'm summoned, reduce the cost of your darkness everywhere by 1, and then when I'm summoned, summon a copy of me. So while most of our darknesses are going to be free, we will still have some ways of generating them, like with our Dark Bulb, where they won't be. So Shadow Totem on here, and I'll double draw, like this seems really good. We will actually grab this Crystal Carrier, because we have a 50% chance of getting this as our first unit on the board. And so first unit getting Crystal Carrier. Pretty solid. Uh, that's really good. So making the enemy discard and we get a card. Perfect. Alright, so we have Champion Item Chest. Slot Bot. Let's look at what we have. So we have Lissandra over here with Frost Gathers. We have She Who Wanders, which we actually wouldn't be terrible to go up against so that's a possibility uh inquisitor up here that champion item chest would be nice though and i do think we would be a pretty good counter to omen hawk so yeah let's let's head up top so omen hawk and at last they awaken uh, let's get rid of the tenor and they get excited we're fine with the rest so far, I think we've gotten some pretty good upgrades. As long as we don't go against anyone that has uh, I Am Inevitable, then we should be pretty solid. Never doubt, 
Let's just open attack before they play anything. All right, so we can just immediately kill that. Play our Vagar. Oh, uh, Vagar is one of my favorite champions, both back when I played League and now. All right, so I think both of these are going to reduce down the cost of our darkness. Yes. Perfect. Ooh, if that costs six. And we are not there yet. But we have plenty of blockers. So we'll just pass and see what they do. They're out there. Alright, so we can put Focus, that one honestly. there. Oh, my dear. Don't really want Vagar to take damage. Did you call me? Yeah, let's not do that. But Don't let's make sure that one dies. Perfect. This match is going pretty much exactly how we want. Alright, so we need to level up our Vagar. So might as well do this here. So we'll attack with everything at the moment, get some solid damage down, and we're just waiting to kind of nuke them next round when we hit six mana. So we're playing this to be able to get to six mana next round. Bring me your darkness, my Zep, comrade. All right, so here we could play our darkness, but we're not going to bother. Anything else? Again, just waiting. And we're going to play all of our spells, just absolutely nuke their nexus. So this is pretty much how we want every every match to play out. We get the six mana and just destroy them. GG. All right, that went well. Hopefully we can just do that more. Uh, elusive, two cost pick, one to two non-champion cards from the enemy hand, and I capture it. Deal two to a unit and two to the enemy nexus, so some more removal. But essentially discarding, like if we could use this and then capture like uh, Lissandra's Entomb, like when she entombs her whole board, buried in ice, like that could be really good. And I really like messing with the enemy, making them discard, and Vega is really good with that. A lot of the stuff you can get. All right, game start. Just making sure we have him. Sounds good. All right, Yeti Yearling. So angry Yetis and Frost gathers. All right, we'll get rid of all three of these. We know we're going to dra draw our Vagar, so it's fine. All right, we have both of these, so we know we're going to summon the other one. Oh, right. He's a two cost, so now we have a chance of summoning him, which isn't great. Uh, we'll wait for him to get the strike off so the darkness does more. We figured he was going to die, but that's not really an issue because he was still going to get a strike off. All right, let's open attack to get our plunder. So we now can drop our Vagar. Uh, we'll need to save our darkness to protect our Vagar. Because they are probably going to try to kill him. Uh, stress defense isn't bad. We might end up using that. Oh, right, they're stupid nabs. I hate those so much. Let's kill this one. Yeah, 
And then let's stress defense this one. So we can get a strike off and have that unit survive. We only have 14 cards and they keep trying to take more. So we're going to hit six mana regardless. So this one kind of doesn't matter. An extra draw wouldn't be bad. Alright, let's attack with these. Look out for reavers. I've got meat bigger than you. Alright, so this one, if we don't have a darkness, it'll make another darkness. We can hit their nexus. I don't know if we'll have quite enough damage, though. Because this is going to deal 8. The ones next round will be deal 9. We're going to have one from this, and we're going to make one. Yeah, I think I think we can do it. We'll be, we'll be good. So yeah, we'll keep this one, and then the other ones we make. We're just going to hit 6 mana and nuke them down. GG. Alright, not too bad. Able to get away without taking any damage. Ooh, Des and Ixtal Sentry. So remember, someone created Darkness in hand. When you play your next Darkness this round, copy it targeting the enemy Nexus. But Des and Ada, this Darkness costs zero and deals damage to all targets. This is a very expensive card. So I think I'll actually go here. Hopefully we never get high enough to actually have to play this, but capturing a strong unit and then having the darkness hit the entire board, at this point in the game, that darkness might be strong enough to literally kill every enemy unit. So, we'll grab that here. All right, Rot Colossus and Secrets Hidden by Frost. All right, we'll get rid of Vagar because we know we're gonna draw him. I'm actually happy with the rest. Sad we don't have the attack token, though. When we have the attack token, we can just immediately attack with the unit we summon. Nice, got a Twisted Catalyzer. Well, that is a little annoying. I think we'll just pass. Alright, let's kill that. And we're probably going to pokey stick their Nexus, potentially. Yeah, we're going to pass. We want this unit to get strikes off. We're fine with him dying. He just needs to hit something first. All right, we'll attack with both. We need them to hit the Nexus so we can get our Vagar on the board. So the good thing about these equipment decks is normally they don't have a lot of units. So if you can consistently kill their units, they just run out of things to play. Don't have enough mana to kill him. Let's go ahead and make them discard one of their cards, though. Ha, ah, they got rid of their Colossus. Perfect. I think let's use this first just to get rid of 
one of their units. They might try to kill our Vagar. Let's pass and see what they do. Let the matriarchs and their legends die. Uh, let's play this just to have a blocker. My arrows fly true. All right. Actually. Let's break their hand. Uh, let's play this here. And I think we can pass, that's all right. So we're now at six mana. Let's go ahead. It's gonna be a bit overkill, but this will help us level up. So we could kill that unit, I think. Let's just attack and see if they block or not. All right, nope, so that's seven extra damage. All right, so we are kind of trying to save this to nuke down their Nexus. So we'll just pass. But we have two things giving us mana ramps. We can now use our Decinata if we want. Oh, they have the effect if you don't have a darkness. Or actually, when someone create, yeah, create a darkness if you don't have one. So might as well use these here. And this actually might just be enough to end. Uh, not quite. Gonna be a long night. Alright, GG. Huh, it only went off once. Interesting. Seal the room, score the pages. Well, anyways, GG. Ooh, Twisted Catalyzer. Just getting more copies of this is amazing, but that mana deposit, very nice. All right, Mechanized Mimic and Remitter, Monastery, and Spells. Uh, Monastery, I think that lets us cut a card. Spells Chest wouldn't be bad, but I guess we can go up here, just see if there's anything we really want. Six damage, if we would die, obliterate it. I don't know about that one. This going off twice. I think I'm okay with the capture here. Two cost capture, although again, this would be another two cost, which means it's gonna fill our pool of units. So don't actually wanna get that, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll just leave. All right, Remitter. All spells cost one less. All units have spell shield. That'd be terrible for us. Uh, when you level up a champion, all players discard their hand. That one could actually be decent because we're going to still generate darkness but the enemy would probably have a lot harder time so i think we will actually grab this i think it should help us more than hinder us all right trifarian pretty much none of our units are gonna be able to trigger that let's use a reroll bouncing blades sharing is carrying so this would give us another unit, or another removal spell we could play every round. Created cards cost one less. This would help our created darkness spells. And sharing is carrying can be good, but we're not really relying on our units for damage. And we don't have, like, double attack, I don't think. So yeah, I think I'll actually go for the Wild Inspiration. But if you wanted even more removal, you could go here. It's just, I don't want the mana attacks every round. So yeah, we'll grab this here. All right, Inquisitor. All right, let's get rid of the Tenor and the Vagar because we know we're going to draw it. Wizened Wizard is pretty nice. can help us speed up our ramp and get to six mana faster. Uh, let's open attack. 
Ah, oh, that's... That sucks. If we could have hit the Nexus, we could have played our Vagar round one. Alright, two power and vulnerable. Sure, we'll do that there. This is also great just peeking at the enemy units. So we'll play this here just so we can get some uh, more mana next round. <laughs> and yeah, we could start killing the enemy units, but we want these to be buffed up a little bit. All right, let's deal damage to their Nexus. This will get our plunder effect off. So we can then play Vagar for a bit cheaper. I love their voice lines. So we could deal some damage. Mind the wonder. But all of these can also just hit their Nexus. So yeah, let's attack like this. Alright, so we buffed it up even more, so these three could level us up, but we could also just wait until we hit six mana. Ah, speaking of which, it's just, it's next round, it's too tempting. I want my hat, and I want it now! Lord Vega, you cannot rush perfection. All right, so this will go off twice, giving us two draw. Uh, let's play this first, just so we don't overdraw. All right, we need to play one more to level up our Vagar. Oh, right. Oh, uh, that's... I mean, I'm glad I already have this win. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, well, that could be better. All right, let's quickly stun this one. Uh, I forgot that we're going to discard our hand. Well, that could have been better. Uh, we'll... Hopeless, honestly. What are you wearing? Don't like our Vagar being low. Hopeless, honestly. Yeah, we'll just go like this. Uh, that was bad. Actually, let's play this first, just so we can capture their card. So, no cards for them. Uh, I'm ready to learn to play around that discard, because I really just screwed myself so hard. Uh, not good. I mean, again, it's going to be fine. But we were just going to end, like, that round. Uh, probably could have had this attack beforehand. Probably would have been a good idea.
All right, GG. Uh, I think we'll grab the friendship. That could be pretty good against Lissandra. I uh, don't really want to do mind meld. So let's go for the spells chest. Uh, blow back, deal one to the enemy. I think we'll just go here. It is expensive, but could give us some sustain. Let's actually go up top and try to get the uh, extra power. I think we should be fine, right? So, Poro Sled and all things grow cold. All right, let's get rid of Vagar. Yeah, that's fine. That is a pretty big unit with Overwhelm. Not the best. Let's play this so we can play this unit here, get another one on the board. Yeah, that is pretty rough. All right, so we will play this so we can get our Vagar on the board. Good, my father's friend. I totally understood that. All right, and let's attack with this one here. We're trying to trick them into blocking with Mighty Poro. Perfect. They do have a lot of Poros. So we can give this barrier. Perfect. And then both of these are going to get destroyed because they don't have room. So blocking this doesn't really do anything. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. We will play this to have another blocker. I think let's get rid of that card there. Oh, zero cost. That's actually handy. All right, so... We can kill this one there. All right, so sad we can't block the Poro Sled. But we can actually just keep playing this. And it doesn't really matter the... Well, I guess it will kind of blow through our hand a little bit. But most of these are going to get discarded anyways. We don't want to discard too many. Ah, we'll do one more just so we can have a full board. All right, so we're going to do what we did last time and have this kind of locked in and ready to go because we are about to level up. So discard a whole bunch of our cards. 
I wonder if we draw this, we should still have it back, right? Yeah, so we might actually want to save this to discard their cards next round. All right, let's just attack with everything. Granted, they're going to get first action, so they'll probably be able to play whatever it is. Yeah, we could use the draw ourselves, but if I can use it to mess with them, it'll be great. Alright, so they didn't use it. Uh, we really need to protect our Nexus health, so let's actually kill this unit. Alright, so we'll be able to attack and hopefully end the game. Goodness, I don't know if you can hear, but there's a lot of thunder going on outside. Alright, GG. Alright, we were able to get through, but man, that was pretty rough. Uh, this... we would just get extra draw. It wouldn't discard more cards. So that's interesting. I, yeah, I guess we'll get that. Well, hopefully we can get through this one without taking too much damage. Oh, they have I'm Inevitable. Great. Uh, Howling Abyss. Uh, we'll actually hold on to this one just because holding it in our hands increases the odds we're going to draw it on, for the board. Uh, we'll get rid of this one. We have the attack token, which is nice. Some Twisted Catalyzers, really good. All right, so we could open attack to get our Vagar on the board, but I think just playing two Twisted Catalyzers immediately. That's unfortunate. With our crystals combined. Yeah, we will attack like this. Disrupt our peace. Come to it is my ingenuity, Lord Vega. Stretching my legs. And let's go ahead and kill that. So this one really is gonna come down to luck on what they get as far as units. Oh, okay. How fun. Let's set this to a 6-1. And kill her. So this is good and bad. Good thing is we did get rid of all of their cards. The bad thing is they have two Howling Abysses that are going to be generating cards every single round. If we could top deck our Pokey Stick, that would be really nice right now. We did not top deck our Pokey Stick. Uh. Something ancient stirs. Well, that's bad. That's really bad. <laughs> we we'll make them pay. <laughs> My heroic last stand never seemed to stick. Ah, uh, yeah, I feel like we have to use this to kill kill him. Also, we don't really have anything to block their Nivea. 
So we probably should kill her before she does her attack. Which, we're having to use up our spells and not kill their nexus, which isn't amazing. Wait, skip block. Oh, there's still the Jack's attack going on. <laughs> I was like, what? What block am I skipping? Well, that could be better. That could be a lot better. <laughs> Our light grows brighter. No more lies. Please, oh, thank you. Thank you for doing that. Because now you're dead. Fantastic. Oh, this is a little scary. Oh, that's nice. Alright, so that's a good amount of damage. That's a good amount of damage. This will increase our Acolyte. They can't block with this, right? I guess they actually might be able to. Alright, maybe GG. Yes, GG. I don't think we took any damage. Uh, let's, yeah, get this down. If we can play this earlier, especially once we have six mana, so this goes off twice. That could really help us out. All right, we were able to do it. Took a lot of damage, but <laughs> able to get through. Uh, share the bounty. Not great. None of this is really good for us at all. Wouldn't go draw one and give it fleeting, because especially when we discard our entire hand, if we can just get some extra draw going, that'll be... Really good. Also, this is going to make it so we're not milling ourselves with all the stuff we discard. That's actually pretty decent. Uh, let's see. Uh, free attack. Don't really care about that. Ooh, 3-3, three, three, but I cost one more. That'll get this out of the two-cost pool. Perfect. We might end up getting that. We don't have any rerolls left, though. So if we play this, we would summon two things. That might be pretty good. Yeah, we'll buy one of these. We don't really want a ton in our deck, but might as well get the item since we have it. Monster Harpoon would be a ton of removal, but I think we're probably fine. Yeah, let's go ahead and stick with that. So Trundle with, of course, I am inevitable. Let's get rid of actually all of these. They start with the attack token, not great. All right, discard. All right, that's a lot better. Warm hearts and hot suits. So banging the mana wouldn't be bad. Yeah, let's just pass. Don't really like, but... Oh, that's... Oh, this is fleeting. Oh, that is rough. So we could play this, but then we couldn't play our Vagar. A five heal is nice, but... I think we just, we have to get our Vagar on the board. Uh, so let's throw out our Pokey Stick. Hopefully we draw this again later. These are Good, my bogus friend. I totally understood that. All right, next round, we will be able to level our Vagar up. Trolls are going to war! Ready when you are. Always ready. Alright, already we're gonna overdraw. Let's have this like primed. 
<laughs> so we can then uh, get everything, like, not lose it. I guess can we combo both of these. Oh, we don't have enough mana. So let's... Oof. So since he is tough and I'm inevitable, we're hitting him for four damage, but every time one of it's getting blocked by the tough. And so really each one of these, like we, I don't think we'd actually kill him. So that's a little sad. Let's kill some of these heroes on the side. <laughs> that is also gonna make it harder. All right, this will level us up. Alright, so at least they're out of cards. So we have that going for us, at least. Oh, but he's so big now. Yeah, not great. Although... Let's go ahead and set his health down. And then let's drain a whole bunch off of him. Alright. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, we can just end. We could start using our darkness on the Nexus, but... Kind of fine with waiting a little bit until they uh, rank up. Uh, the second copy will get burnt off. But they're probably not going to attack. Yeah, so let's just drop this here. So, this should just be game. Now, I'll probably block and stop 17 of this damage. But, oh, I guess it doesn't even matter. We have enough darkness. GG. Alright, that went pretty well. Uh, we can grab the friendship. Uh, getting an item for our Vagar would be really nice, but I think we'll just go the safe route and go to full health, so we have two chances for Lissandra. Alright, Lissandra and Frost gathers. Alright, we start with the attack token, very good, and I honestly like all of these. Now, they can still stop this attack, but... Potentially, we'll just be able to immediately... Alright, perfect. Uh, we'll go ahead and play this darkness since we're about to make another one. Ah, uh, we could have... <laughs> we could have played our Twisted Catalyzer since we can play it for free. Oh, they high rolled. Wonderful. Better. 
No, I will play this. We can't really stockpile them up as much because Lissandra's ability to punish you if you play too many cards in a round. So let's just, well, they might drop another Lissandra, but I don't really want to get entombed either. How close are we? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and just do this. All right, so we could do this for some more draw, but I think I'm fine for waiting and maybe getting rid of whatever they draw. So yeah, we will pass. Alright, that is a lot of damage. Let's actually use this one here. Can't really be greedy and save them. Although, if I play this... Uh, deal 7 to anything. So I'm worried about the rummage because while we could draw a bunch of cards, with the cost increase for it kneel or freeze, it might not be the best. Alright, we'll play that first. Although this discard up to two cards. Alright, we're probably going to use this rummage after we kill this unit. Alright, not great, but we're still alive. Will, man, I can't see. All right, 10, 11. Discard their one card. So while we can damage their Nexus, I feel like we probably just need to focus on killing their units, actually. So we can drop this one here. And then play a darkness to kill one of their others. We'll have a full board full of units. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. We need to just try to survive. Oh, look, Lissandra, that's kind of funny. All right, we just need to get these units down with their Overwhelm.
All right, so let's go ahead and kill him. And we can drop this. All right, so things are going decent. We don't. Oh, let's go ahead and play this right away just so we can see what they get. All right, yep, let's get rid of that. Uh, do we want to kill that? I mean, it wouldn't be bad to get it off the board. Yeah, let's just attack like this. Yeah, right, they can block with it. This will probably over... overdraw or get close to it. All right, I was trying to look for more spells to... Oh, right, because of the other thing, it goes even crazier. Uh, we will play this here. Uh, we'll hold off. Well. Yeah, we'll just do as much damage as we can. So we could play this, but it would only go off once. Probably want to go off twice. So yeah, we will pass. Our next darkness should just end us the game. All right, GG. All right, that was definitely a interesting one. Pretty fun though, Vagar, always a blast to play. And with all of that removal, really good answer to a lot of the different opponents we're facing. So, Vagar does do pretty well. Now, you definitely can get some bad luck, especially if you're going against enemies with I Am Inevitable and they're too strong if they just kill in one hit. Then, yeah, you definitely can have some tough times, but Vagar is pretty great here. That was a pretty fun run. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then like and subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day.